All right, we're going to just set the stage here for a minute. The Detroit Pistons, at the time of recording, have played two summer league games. And I'm going to set the stage for you, Chris. First quarter, we're playing against the Washington Wizards. Dumb name. But anyways, we're playing against them. 38 points. We're up by like almost 20 after a quarter and just dominating when fully healthy. It's hard not to be excited about this team, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, man, it's crazy. uh, Dude, I mean, leave in the comments your thoughts. And again, make sure Craig and I are seeing things clearly. But yeah, because game one was a little rough. But but yeah, so exactly. So then all of a sudden we're we're playing. We just look every guy on the court just looks a little bigger, stronger. Mm -hmm. We just look we just look like a better team. Just kind of everything we do. Look, we look a step faster. We've got a fastest guy out there. We've got a good shooter. We've got big length. It's all of a sudden it's like, what, what are we doing? Like we, we are, we look good. We look like I like what, what I'm seeing out there. Yeah. Usually in the past, in the past 10 years, when it comes to basketball, Detroit Pistons, it's like, uh, you know, we had Blake Griffin maybe for, we just didn't, we never looked like the better team. Stanley nope. Johnson's running around. We just did We never had that good feeling. Right. Yeah. We're now all of a sudden Jay Nivey. I just in summer league, I just feel so much better. That's my big high level takeaway of these two games and why we just look good, man. Is that, yeah. Am I hitting that right? Do you look out there and feel the same way? Or what are your thoughts? Yeah, when I look out there for the first time, what I see is just a talent gap. And I understand Mm -hmm. that we have a lot more young talent than most teams because we've been focused on a rebuild. And this is year three of it. So they look how I think they're supposed to look. If you're on year three of a rebuild where you've had a number one pick, um, you've had a seven, number seven, number one, I think 16, 19, and then a number five with Ivy and another another 13 with Jalen Duran. Like you better look like you have more talent, but it's exactly what you're hoping for. You're your three guys, two of the three. They're not even playing anymore, right? Because they're they've arrived. The third guy, Isaiah Stewart, who is playing still, is just doing it because he works so hard and he wants to get better at his craft. But then you now have the superior athletes that are Jaden Ivy. Jalen Duran, and you're starting to see them play and you're like, Oh my goodness, this is just, if they put their mind to it, nobody's stopping them in the summer league. No, I'm not saying it's going to be like that in the NBA season, but summer league talent, there's the Pistons and then there's everybody else. It's not there. No. And you know, this reminds me of the got to be like 2011 Detroit lions preseason game. And we'd been losing forever. We're playing game number three against the Patriots. And I remember we had our starters in. We The crowd was going crazy. And, it, and I feel like that here where it's like, sorry. You know, like, it doesn't matter. And who cares? Well, it matters to Pistons fans. because Sorry, because it's fun. Yeah. I'm so sorry that we are going <laughs> to have our main guys in there. because Just because they are our main guys. And they happen to be younger and developing too. But yep, sorry. That's who we have, and we're going to be out there. And I know it doesn't matter, but what does matter is I'm seeing some real things. And that's the same thing like when we had Dominic and Sue. It's like, oh, you know what? The guy is getting to the quarterback. I know it's yeah. preseason, but <laughs> and I, but it will like. And Matthew I, Stafford has a cannon. Yeah. And- <laughs> I, I'm sorry that we're getting excited about this. I know it doesn't matter, but that's the same feeling where I know it's summer league, but we've needed this for 10 years. We've just have not had it. So. Sorry, yeah. we're loving yeah. it. Yeah, sorry. And and you mentioned it earlier. You know, you talk about those teams over the last 10 years. And Tobias Harris is a really good basketball player, mm-hmm. right? Um, don't get me wrong. And Blake Griffin was the best that we had probably. And Andre Drummond was good at what he did. Reggie Jackson was fine. But they were teams that went out there and they're like, hey, they're all mediocre. And if they play really well together, we might get some W's. And we might even make a push for the playoffs here. This is different. This is like if they put it all together, what it could be in two to three years absolutely is terrifyingly exciting. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like so, so, and, and you see that when you have guys like Jay Nivey put together a half a quarter before hurting his, his ankle, you see that when the very first play of summer league, you know, Killian gives it to Ivy who then throws an oop to Duran and he jumps over everyone. And then he continues to do that for the next game and a half, even on minutes restrictions. And you see him doing that. You see role players, second round picks, 
like Isaiah Livers, and he makes an impact in all facets of the game. I think he has five blocks through two summer league games. Yes. Like he's been all over the place, and he started shooting in the second game, at which we knew he would. He wasn't going to go one for eight every game because he is a fantastic shooter. So, like, you start seeing all these pieces come together, and it's like maybe – maybe we do have something here. And like Steve said, when we had him on, like maybe, sh maybe spacing won't be as big of a problem as we thought it would be. It's just summer league. Everybody calm down. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking to me here. I'm talking yeah. to me, right? Like calm down. But when you see talent, that's a notch above summer league, when you haven't seen that before, all of a sudden it gets you excited about how will that translate into the regular season? Cause in summer league, it's more impressive than in college. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, but you, you're so right about okay, <laughs> the spacing, the floor spacing thing was a big mm. was a big question for us because, yeah, I don't, I just you know I'd like to see it. Well, all of a sudden, like, no crap! All of a sudden, we've got a guy that can blow past his man, and yeah. now all of a sudden, there is going to be a problem at some point. Versus how you know we can't we're, last year you know just trying to find our way, kind of trying to get in the lane, you can't get it. Well, now all of a sudden, like Steve said, my my point was that like, Steve said it. Every team now, every year is a new team, and this is a completely different. So, no, we don't technically get didn't get any floor spacing guys, right? Yeah, you know, a couple, but but this is a whole new look. We don't know, and we just can't wait to see is Ivy just changing the game, changing our team because of his ability. And you know, now we have to, people are going to be collapsing more, and it's just a whole different thing that we're excited to see, and we are seeing already where it's like. I don't know. Like I'm seeing livers wide open. A I'm lot, seeing livers so. wide open. Yeah. And there's a big difference in shooting percentage with livers wide open and livers with a guy closing out on him or a hand in his face. Yeah, exactly. You know, exactly. there's a big difference. Same with Sadiq Bay. Same with Cade Cunningham. You know, I mean, all these guys and Killian Hayes is the biggest difference probably because I think wide open, he can shoot maybe mid thirties, but with a hand in his face, he can't eclipse 30%. He right. can't. And so like when you see these guys, it's like, man, wide open shooters make a lot more shots. And that was the thing that he he showed yeah. me. And I never even thought about how defense is. You can't commit one guy or even two. Sometimes you need to collapse two or three in order to stop it, like just superior athletes like Jade and Ivy. You do. Absolutely. And and that's where you see, you know, the, the great, great, great players that are able to get to the basket pass well change it i mean lebron of, of course is like that's there's a reason this guy carried multiple teams to the final like he's he's it's a whole dynamic when he's out there and so i'm not saying i'm not saying ivy is lebron james but what i'm saying no. is no but his ability to create and do change the whole um end of that bat of the court when we're on offense is just going to be interesting to watch and i just i mean yeah again with cade now cade's different right mm -hmm. cade's different than last year because ivy endurance so we can probably do a whole different video and this might be one of the videos we do in the dead of the next three months after summer league is over before the regular season starts but there's a difference between spacing because you have three-point shooters and then spacing because certain players have huge gravity, like a huge gravitational pull. So you have That's guys right. like Cade Cunningham, uh, Jay Nivey is starting to show that like you have to send more than one body at them or you have to always be cognizant of them. So they have players that are surrounding them. And even if you have not great shooters outside That's of it, right. you're still going to get the spacing because of the gravity. Does I mean, that makes sense, right? Oh, it makes more sense. You were saying exactly what I was trying to say in a way better I way. I did? So, yep. Okay, great. You nailed it. You nailed it. That's what I was trying to <laughs> Either yeah, that like, or I'm just repeating you. No, no. The, that's exactly what I was trying to say is like you, you've you got guys all over you now. Now those guys that weren't shooters, well, hey, I'm, I am a shooter. I'm yeah. wide open. Yeah, throw it over here. Like, yeah. let's go. So, yeah, I think it, it's going to be we're, – we're excited and ready to – man, ready to keep watching. It's great. We're excited. Keep watching. Hopefully we stay healthy or get healthy in summer league so we can enjoy the next few games. For sure. For sure. So let us know your, uh, you know, the comments here on just anything we missed or maybe we're, we're too high on this. Or maybe it doesn't matter. We already apologized a million times saying we don't care. We love it. Sorry. Love but, it. Yeah. Let us know in the comments, your thoughts, Craig, anything else that you had? No, this is it for me. Hit the comments below. Hit that subscribe button if there's anything else that you want. And uh, we're going to keep talking about it. Pistons are playing basketball. Summer League of regular season. We talk about it. See you on the next one. See you.